Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading now. It is going to be focused on your love life. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. Okay, so I'm seeing that in terms of your love life, there is something that could be very interesting that is occurring, right? I'm picking up from the energies, okay, that you feel a very intense connection towards someone. This first card that has come up in the overall theme is pointing towards love. It's pointing towards, you know, a powerful sort of, a feeling or sensation that you're experiencing towards someone. Let's clarify this card before we go into it. I feel like the person you're dealing with, they want to... Take a chance towards this, right? I get the impression that this person you're dealing with, something has changed that has forced them to feel all of a sudden really worried about what was happening in your life, okay? I feel like if you had other options or you had other possibilities, it might have caused this trigger in terms of the situation. I am sensing that this person started to look at the situation more seriously. For some reason, something, you know, triggered off this individual to um, have some sort of an epiphany, right? And this epiphany is relating to their feelings. It's relating to their emotions. Let's look at the next energy. I see that you have been very, very patient in terms of the situation and your energy has been getting more balanced. I have, uh, you know, picked up from these uh, tarot cards that before you were feeling a sense of patience, but you were also feeling very emotional, like you were influenced by your mood swings or you were influenced by, uh, you know, emotions deep inside of you. And I feel like right now you're going through a phase in which you're trying to get everything you know, in a proper sort of order, like you don't want to be so overly passionate or so overly distant. You're trying to find that middle ground, that balance, right? And I feel like you want to communicate this to uh, the individual you're dealing with because Aries individuals are so, you know, high strung. They have so much energy for life. And uh, sometimes when it comes to the emotions, they can have some doubts, they can have some fears. And I feel like you're starting to balance that all out now and you're not allowing yourself to be so prone to uh, acting by impulse or by your instinct, you know. So I feel like sometimes the planets, the way they line up, it can influence you to act in a certain way and behave in a certain way. And I feel like you're in a much more better place than you were before, okay. So let's look at the next energy.
Yeah, I'm seeing that this individual has felt trapped before, right? And they were feeling stuck. There was something about the situation that was just not moving along. And this was like an impulse. It was a stalemate. Things were very stagnant for the longest time. And I'm sensing from the cards that, you know, this individual, they may have been reaching out to you sporadically. It could have been at uh, strange intervals, but I feel like they were holding on to hope that eventually they'd be able to say what they need to say to you. And I feel like for some of you, you may have received communication for others you may not have. And what I'm sensing is that this individual, when it comes to communicating, they take their own time to open up different layers of themselves. And this is just the way they are, okay? Sometimes you can get really impatient because, you know, you have a perception of love, etc. But I think when it comes to perceptions, you should really throw them out the window, especially when it comes to, um, you know, unique individuals or people that are a little bit different to others, right? So I feel like when it comes to communication, they were trying very hard. They really had to do look very deep inside of them to find that strength to say what they need to say to you or to be as uh, genuine and authentic as uh, they can be in the moment right so in terms of communication i feel like things are a bit slow in that end right and things are not moving along as fast as you would like there is going to be an extended and i will be looking at what you can do to get things to move along at a much uh, faster pace especially if you want to get things going I'm seeing from your energy in particular, right, you have been feeling imbalanced by this. I feel like you've been going back and forth. You've been questioning, do you want to get back together with this person or not? Do you want to make things work? You know, what do you have to sacrifice in order to be with them? And these are some of the questions that you've been asking. I feel like something has changed in terms of the dynamic of the relationship. There's definitely this sort of energy where... You know, you're looking at the situation from a different perspective, but you're also seeing that even though there's a lot of chaos and there's a lot of uh, craziness, there's also a lot of beauty and a lot of love there, right? So I feel like you're changing your direction when it comes to your love life, right? I feel like uh, you're not going to be putting any more energy or time into things that uh, are toxic or difficult to deal with you're looking for harmony you're looking for balance and peace and you're only going to be moving in that direction right and i've also sensed from the cards that you've been thinking long and hard about your past relationships or a past relationship depending how many relationships you've had and you've been thinking about how neglected and um, empty you've been feeling as a result of either not being able to do what you want or not being able to have the freedom that you are craving in your life right now. So for those of you that are stuck in, you know, difficult situations or you've left difficult relationships, I sense from the cards that you are, you know, growing very frustrated about those cycles, those patterns, those behaviors, and you're wanting to move out of it. You know, there's a new change coming into your life. You're not looking to settle into things that are tearing into you or forcing you to become what you're not. Because I feel like for Aries during this period of time and, uh, you know, for it's going to be for a very long time as well, you know, you're sort of uh, getting a sense of your identity and realizing that you want to do what you want to do when you want to do it and you don't want to be forced to do things that you don't want to do. And uh, this could be as a result of you reaching a certain age or, you know, coming to understand that life is too short to, uh, you know, fit the expectations of other people or to... Uh, force yourself into situations that you really don't want to be in, right? So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these cards on an extended reading. You can find the links in the description box below. There's also the Aries 2020 yearly tarot card reading. Make sure to check that out if you're interested. And if you want to post the reading, you can get it at thetarotempress.com. In the extended reading, I'm going to be looking at how to get things moving along. I'm also going to be looking at the energy of the individual you are dealing with in particular and what they're going through, etc. Have a wonderful day and take care.